Welcome to the American Freedom Party, a party dedicated to preserving American founding principles, founding traditions, preserving the Constitution through what we call constitutionalism, and moving forward America in a progressive way that preserves, obviously, the Constitution for the way it was written. Our party is going to be based inside of Dallas. Um, this is Dallas, Texas, and we're actually going to be doing conventions inside of a conventional center where we're going to have eight candidates every four years, every presidential year, so we can present our candidates in the best way possible with the fewest amount of numbers. We feel like eight would cover the amount of people inside of our party and give a good spectrum of what's going on inside of our party and allow multiple candidates to share their views on where the best place for our party is to go. Our symbol is going to be an eagle, not just any eagle, an eagle flying over the open air. The reason being it's our nation's bird. It's the one thing that shows national pride. It shows a lot. It's unique. It's a unique bird that you don't see everywhere. You know why? Because freedoms are unique to every person. They're unique towards our country. They're unique towards our founding. On top of this, the eagle itself flies freely among the air. Just like our country. It preserves freedoms. allows people to choose their life, choose where they go, and actually choose their fate in the world. Unlike a lot of other places. The eagle is going to represent ourselves. It's going to represent our core foundings of our party. The American Freedom Party. Alright, so our core ideals are something that are very big to us. And I really just want to hone in on those whole that whole subject going on there. We're a constitutionalist party. Meaning that we interpret the constitution for the way it's written. Uh, this is a very big thing for us. We like to make sure that the founding fathers words were, were, were made the way they were written. There's no reason to interpret it any further than where it is. Obviously, there are a bit of things that you do need to bend for, but for the most part, you really need to stay to it. You don't want to edit it too much because it gets really out of hand if you do that. We're also a very conservative party that believes in military progressivism. We, we believe in changing the military, switching away from boots on the ground and lives being exchanged for meaningless purposes. We don't want American live loss. We want to convert to a more manless program where it involves more air support in, in space endeavors and, and involving more of a mechanical based military that involves in a uh, technocentric uh, military basis. On top of this, we want to move forward to an educational progressivism. As we know, the, the edu uh, education in America has been on an all time low. Uh, we're going to be changing that in many ways where it comes to where we have a neutral education system, one that gears you towards your actual career choice and moves you forward to a more impactful future. We want to make sure the American education system caters into what the student wants to learn and make sure it actually teaches core values that will be necessary in life and make sure that we have a more productive generation in future generations of America that also understand the founding principles that they're being inducted into and make sure that they are very pro those principles so we can construct ourselves inside of America. Finally, I would like to say we're a very moral group. We're a group that has strong founding religious principles that we induct ourselves in with a very life. Now that does not mean we disagree with other religious principles. We just have very strong Christian beliefs ourselves. A very moral life involves just caring for everyone inside of your country and making sure that everyone is treated equally. Every man is created equal instead of America, and we believe that. We have strong moral principles that follow our religious values, and we plan on bringing that to the Oval Office and creating that for everyone around us and making sure that no matter what religion you are, you live here fair and free. So our core policies are something that I really want to bring up, and I'm just going to go over a basic overview. First, um, we believe in lowering taxes across the board in, in order for a more productive capitalist economy, which we do currently have. It's a consumer economy. Um, we're we're going to just cut taxes straight across the board, no matter what tax bracket you are in. We're trying to um, take just bring money back to the people, and that is a big thing for us. And um, that is one of our first core ideals. Second off, uh, we're going to start incentivizing a marriage plan. Instead of incentivizing the idea of having separated parents and, and paying per children on like welfare benefits, we're actually going to be incentivizing marriage, showing that there's actual tech tax relief for married couples and making sure that there's actually a purpose to getting married legally. And, not, and it's not just for a religious purpose. It's actually for the, you know, the children, the, the future generations, making sure that it, they have an impactful um, family and that the family units are there and strong. We're military progressives as well. This is our third poli core policy that I would like to bring up. The, we really want to take back our troops out of the Middle East. There's no point in being there at this point. We're a foreign power in investing our money into... Uh, the, these Middle Eastern countries, at this point for us, since we are a foreign power, 
us going into the countries is almost like terrorism in itself. We need to bring back our troops so we, we lose less American lives out on the field and, and switch back to a more technocentric military that doesn't allow us to put boots on the ground troops anymore. We'll invest in the, like I said, space, and we're going to invest in the Air Force and make sure that we invest in technologies that don't allow us to have outright wars anymore and just convert to a more technocentric military that allows us to not use man-based products in, in actual lives in the field. On top of this, we also want to move towards the actual reform of the, the military itself. Just make sure there's more background checks, have actual competent people inside of those places, make sure they're strong and well-minded. Um, and this also extends out to the police forces as well, making sure that people with the actual arms who enforce our laws and, and, and protect our freedoms and sacrifice so we don't have to sacrifice, actually have the proper educational values and moral values and make sure they're all there in the head and everything like that. Our fourth policy is moving forward on a more intellectual concepts. It's an idea of trying to demotivate the idea of anti-constitutional ideals and communist ideals. Um, we are going to be moving forward with trying to provide an actual intellectual space so people can actually understand why these things are not good for our country. Um, educating people on the bad ideas of communism and the bad ideas of being anti-constitutional, showing the pro things about it. We're going to be using advertisements and actually newsletters educating people on these in these areas. This is a big policy for us, and we will be going more in depth on where we're going to be going with that and to show that this is a persuasion, not an actual shutdown of ideas. Educational reform. This is a big thing that we're really wanting to hone in. We want to create a neutral educational field that provides a pro-American ideal so we can have a constructive future generations of America. We also want to hone in on the ideas of moving their education towards their career path choice and making sure that actual careers are actually taught, showing that there's actual craftsman careers and show the obviously intellectual professional careers that you can pursue as well. So we have a good variety instead of America in, in our selection. We also want to make sure, like I said in, the, in this initial speech, that we want to bring in a non-biased learning environment, make sure political agendas aren't being pushed on the younger youth and making sure that there's a neutral field, but that also teaches the pro-American and traditional American ideals that that each person should have in mind when going into our country and when understanding our country and living their life in our country so each person can pursue their life in the best way possible here in the United States of America. Hopefully through all this, you guys really enjoyed what we here had presented today. In four years, in 2024, hopefully you guys can come meet us inside of Dallas, Texas. And together with our eight candidates, we can bring the American Freedom Party into the Oval Office. We can show them that traditional American values will never be forgotten. The Founding Fathers have been heard and they would be listened to till the day we die. We are going to make sure that educational reform and military reform are at the topmost of our importances and make sure that the family unit is re-incentivized and make sure that the working class all the way straight through to the business class and straight down to the lowest tax bracket we have has a tax cut and we incentivize capitalism. Make sure that our consumer economy is well treated and make sure our economy gets back on top. We have the best economy in the entire world and we can prove it that we can make it better. All you have to do is take the first step with the American Freedom Party.